Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. I have got some interesting decks for you. Uh, as we are now playing at Infinite, um, I thought it'd be good to do something a bit different, play something a bit fun. Um, so, today is going to be Cerebro Sunday. Sorry if you're not watching this on a Sunday. I have got three fairly similar gimmicky Cerebro decks that I have been trying out. Um, we're going to start with this one. Uh, so, the idea is that it's kind of like uh, Cerebro Surprise is kind of the plan. So, obviously, at the moment, Thanos is really, really prominent in the meta um, with the whole Lockjaw combo. Um, and I just thought, you know what's like really, really strong? Like, just randomly dropping a bunch of nine power cards out of nowhere. Uh, so that's kind of what we're doing here. I don't really have a lot to say about it other than that. Obviously, we were limited by the fact that we were we're building with cards that... Oh, excuse me, I got hiccups. Uh, we're building with cards that only have some power. So realistically, there's like, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I mean, I don't have stature. So I had nine options. Um... I went with the ones that I thought was best, either because they were like affordable or it kind of makes sense. Um, I thought Black Cat was an alright choice, because if you don't play her, she gets discarded, so you don't end up with your hand getting too jammed up. Arrow is obviously really good. Vision, flexible. Um, leader, kind of just a bit meme really now, isn't he? Like now that he's just a 6-7, but in this deck, I guess he's a 6-9, so he's basically an America Chavez, which is fine. Uh, Onslaught does work with Cerebro, also works with some of the stones or Quinjet. I mean, there's nothing else that really benefits from Quinjet apart from the stones in this deck, but still. Uh, Maximus is just good. Ebony Moore is like hit or miss. Hitting Ebony Moore off Lockjaw feels really, really bad, but it doesn't happen too much. Um, and then just Green Goblin to sort of like fill out a bit of space. Also, if you hit Green Goblin off of Lockjaw, you can play another card into Lockjaw, which is pretty neat. And then lastly, the GOAT himself, Cerebro. Um, I only have normal Cerebro, uh, which is really sad because Cerebro has dope variants. Anyway, um, I don't think you guys need to hear anything else about how Sanos works or anything like that. Uh, I'm sure you're sick of seeing him on ladder. Let's give it a go. I played this deck a bit, had mixed results. Um, Definitely not my favourite of the three decks I'm going to show you guys today, but I do think it's quite funny. Um, something I was thinking when I was making this video was, like, I want to do more videos that are based around using, like, pool one and pool two cards. Because I recognise a lot of people don't have, um, don't have full connect, uh, collections, obviously. Uh, Bar Sinister is interesting. Um, and I kind of wanted to make, like, some Cerebro decks where I did, like... A Cerebro deck where the only pull three card we use is Cerebro and we just use pull one and two cards and then do one with pull three cards and then do one with pull four and five cards. If that's something you guys would be interested in, let me know. Um, because you know, I'd, I'd like to make videos and deck guides. Ooh, what's called towers? Interesting armor. Okay, seems like a good trade for me. Actually, does I could just completely fill his side of the ball with crap using this though. Wow. I'm actually kind of tempted to just drop the space stone in there and just fill his side of the board with rubbish next turn. That leaves us with two green goblins, doesn't it? Which I don't know if that's good. You know, I'm going to snap. I think he's likely to concede. There's just like, it's a Shuri deck, right? And if we just completely flood his board with rubbish, he can't play Shuri, he can't play into two lanes, um, which would be good. Especially as we've got arrow as well. Okay. This does leave us with two green goblins though, which is obviously a lot, but I think that's okay. Um, but yeah, let me know if that's something you guys want to see. I like, want to help, um, but I also want to kind of like, show some interesting concepts. I don't just want to retread the same old ground. So when I was thinking like, oh, let's do something with Cerebro, I didn't want to just be like, oh, here's a, here's another video about Cerebro 2, here's another video about Cerebro 3. Um, I also don't want to just make videos that are like, oh, hey, these are, uh, is that a good move? Yeah, I mean, he's kind of got to skip a lot of turns, right, if he wants to get that value back. Um, but 
but yeah, so let me know what you guys want to see. If there's any cards you want to see as well, I was like, oh, you know what I could do? I could just go through and make one deck for like every kind of card, uh, like every card. And then I was like, does anyone really want to see <laughs> a Shocker deck? I think we lose this. I think the snap may have been a bit premature. Kind of depends what he's drawn. It's just we can't really get the full benefits. I guess we could try and roll Thanos is probably where we're at right now. We try and roll Thanos and just drop a black cat there. That's probably the best. Oh, he skipped. Okay, so we just got to be a She-Hulk, which isn't crazy hard. Hmm. I mean, if it's She-Hulk Taskmaster, we just lose. It's just not worth it. That was a bit of a premature snap. I think if I filled Oscorp Tower completely, I would have been fine. But, yeah. Oh, well. Because I think it's important with, like, Marvel Snap. I think, like, the deck building challenge is what's really exciting about it and really interesting. Um, and I think, for me, my, like, criticism of the current meta is it's just really, really boring. Like, I do kind of miss being in pool one and pool two. And even, like, halfway through pool three where, um... I'm going to skip it. It's just really good getting locked to your space stone, I think. I think it's worth waiting for. Oh, Crimson Cosmos. I'm sad. Yeah. Okay. But this is where we're going to stick it out, right? Because if he thinks we're just playing a normal... Ah, uh, yeah, it's a Okay, I mean, I wasn't that fussed about it, but... Um... That's actually pretty good for us because we can play Cerebro instead. Dope. Now we just need to draw Cerebro. Something good? Okay, yeah, Black Cat's fine. He's probably seeing the Black Cat now and he's probably like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> no, my Black Cat. Actually, kind of good. The only problem is, is obviously we wanted to play... Cerebro, but now the Cerebro is going to get moved, which is really sad. We could arrow whatever he plays into... So if we do this, this will all go back up. This will be zero, so we just have to beat seven. Alright, what about if we do this? And then this takes this lane down to... That takes 8 off of that, so that brings it down to 16, and we don't even need 6 power on right. And we could just play Cerebro mid next turn. Let's go with this. Oh, okay, did not expect that. I forgot you. Okay. Hmm. Okay, cool. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Do we win? Do we win just by playing Thanos? Probably not. He could just play Thanos. Anyway, we retreat again. Wow, we got rolled a bit there by Magneto and Error. That Magneto was really jarring. Uh, if we could have played our Cerebro there. Ugh, man. Rough. Um, yeah, I think like I, I miss sort of like playing against decks that actually have a lot of variety in them, not knowing what... Not, not, not... Not, not knowing what cards, but not knowing what, like... You know, like, when you're in, like, pool 2, early pool 3, people can just have anything. Like, whereas now it's, like, you see, like, two cards, and you're like, oh, Galactus, oh, Shiri. Okay. Victory. See, guys, it's confirmed. Yeah, sweet dude. Thank you. Why not? <laughs> C7 OP. But also, if people just want to see, like, guides around um, how, how to, like, Play specific decks. Wow, this guy does not want to play me. Okay. Fair enough. I don't even recognize the name. It's not even like I've uh, ran into him before. But, yeah. Because mm -mm -mm. if people... I, I see a lot of videos around, like, 
guides to hitting infinite, guides to climbing, etc. We just played this guy, didn't we? Like two games ago, he was playing Shuru. Um, and I feel like it's just such a saturated thing. And if, if people want that, that's cool. You know, I want to be, I want to be something of a resource that people enjoy. Like, I won't pretend I'm like a good player, but I'm definitely not like bad per se, because obviously I've hit, I've hit infinite pretty consistently um, every season since global launch, which is when I started playing uh, very, very quickly. So like I think I have a, I think I have a good understanding of the game and mechanics. So if that's the kind of thing people are interested in. Sweet, if people want to see more funny stuff, that's fine too. Um, not the end of the world, that Cosmo. Not a deal though. Do you just play Maximus? But I feel my anti Shuri cards at home though. Mm -hmm. I guess we're just playing Maximus. I don't really want to reveal the Siri, bro. Okay. I swear this guy was playing Shuri. Polaris seems like the kind of card you play with Shuri. Ah, uh, the vision. Okay. This seems winnable. Okay, so hear me out, guys. Shuri, if, he, if they play something left and then they play for mid, we just play leader and we win. As long as they don't play anything huge left. Leader's still good? Um, but yeah, I, I'm very keen to sort of make whatever people want to see. I just, you know, I really, really enjoy playing Marvel Snap. And as I've said before, after we after you hit infinite each month, I do feel a bit stifled. stifled. I go sort of through my dailies and stuff. But because the, uh, because the cards um, release schedule is so slow, um, it is difficult to feel... He's got first reveal. If he plays Taskmaster, I think I win, right? It's just whether he plays. Wow, what a bitch. <laughs> How jarring. I could have played it. No, there's nothing I could have done there. Um. Yeah, as you can see, this deck isn't super competitive, super meta right now. <laughs> um, yeah, I just I just do get really bored because of the card release schedule. Like, when I get onto one of the uh, later decks, I actually spent tokens on a card. And I was uh, saving tokens for Master Melt when Master Melt comes out, like, next week. But I just, you just get bored, do you know what I mean? And I really, really like Marvel Snap. But because once you hit... Uh, infinite for me at least i've played the game so to death um so i just love it that like i i just feel like okay don't love that uh sure just to get something out of our hands turn four turn three yeah we'll go with reality stone we'll just roll the roll the real out on this one as well why not shadowlands yeah not good not bad oh look at me i'm playing shuri how exciting I saw they uh, announced that they're going to make some changes at the end of the month to the Shuri and Thanos deck. I really hope they don't nerf Thanos into the ground. I think it's such a cool card. I think the way that the um, the way that the tweets um, or the comment or the Discord message was written, to me at least, oh wow, another Shadowlands. Couldn't be me. This is looking alright. I'm going to snap, guys. Especially as it's Destroy and not... Uh... Oh wait, no, that's Triskelion. I'm so stupid. <laughs> um, I think Shuri more than Thanos, in my opinion. I mean, the Thanos deck, I think, is fine. It just feels really bad getting leeched, but then you're always going to have that as long as you have an interaction with Lockjaw and Leech. But then I also, like, would kind of rather see... Um, in many ways, I'd rather kind of see more, more stuff that... Do you reckon he'll play right or mids? Because this could be this could be the colossal brain moment. It's a 50-50 right, you see. But I guess if we leave it a turn, we can always find out next turn. So what we'll do is we'll just play... We've already got a Thanos out, so we're not going to benefit from the Cerebro. So let's just play um, A-bomb, right? Let's do it. Oh, he skipped. Ooh. 
Okay. So hear me out, guys. This is a snap. Oh, I've already snapped. Well, I guess I guess I was already confident. But I actually feel extremely confident now. He's gonna play mid, isn't he? He's gonna play mid and left, and I'm gonna lose horribly. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I think the Shuri deck is more of a problem. Like, I find this really boring to play against. Like, it's a matchup that you have to prepare yourself for with every single deck now. Um, it's, you know, I, cool, I get it. Some people really enjoy it. There's like a limited cardboard. If you spend 3,000 credits on Shuri and, ooh, ooh, you, you know, you've made this Shuri deck, you're going to play it a lot, you want to climb, etc. But, like, it's just really, really one dimensional. Um, it's gonna play that deck a bit longer, but we're just gonna we're just gonna move on to the next one because I actually think that's the weakest one out of all the bad decks I've made for Cerebro Sunday. Um, and yeah, so my next Cerebro deck is basically the same thing, but this time with six drops. Um, I don't actually really know why Kang the Conqueror is in here. I think it's because I don't have. I think it's because we don't have loads of six attack minions. Um, and I just, I don't know, maybe we could swap him. Because he gets pulled off of lock. The thing is, he gets pulled off of Lockjaw and it's like an extra hit on the Lockjaw. Um, but let's swap him because not many people don't have Kang. I bought Kang and I really, really like Kang. But like, it feels like a very interesting, strange card to put into decks. Because he's like, it's not that like he does nothing, because he does a lot. But I think he gives you like a lot of agency to snap. And I think a lot of people have talked about how it's unhealthy for the game that you can snap and then like um, he goes up oh, rewind time and then like uh, he will smiths it and you just rewind you just rewind the turn um, and I just I don't know whether that's good for good for the game I think otherwise it's a brilliant card I may as well wait a turn I wonder if this is the uh, real educated columns or not. No. I'm not gonna lie, it's a bit jarring to hit Wakan and Embassy when we're playing this Cerebro deck. Okay. No more. So the thing I like about playing decks like this is there's definitely an element of surprise. Because who would see, uh, especially now when we play the Hellcow, who would see this coming, right? You're playing against the Thanos deck, and you're like, hmm. He's playing, uh, Thanos cards. Oh, okay, it must just be, you know, like, normal, normal Thanos, Leech, Lockjaw, whatever, cool, screw this. Um, and then, uh, <laughs> and then just, uh, just this, this stuff starts happening. Uh, I'm gonna do this, because I kind of actually want to play the Hella next turn. It is a bit spooky having a Wong. Um, there it is, Cerebro. And then they see the Cerebro and they're like, what is wrong with this guy? <laughs> Man, you know what would have been really good if it was a uh, thingy that doesn't let you play uh, play cards with those rock slides? Sarah. Oh, there's like a Dark Hawk deck going around, right? So it's probably that. Uh, I was going to say, I actually feel kind of confident I was about to snap. I don't think that's the real educated Collins. I played, um, I don't even know if he plays on the same server as me, I don't know. But I played that guy yesterday with the leech icon and I had a little look at educated Collins' like stream schedule and stuff. He was offline or playing Hearthstone or something, so I don't think that's the real guy. Um, but yeah, I, I think like there's a lot of like fun to playing a deck with a surprise and I think that's what's good about Marvel Snap. And I think like a lot of people say they're happy with this meta versus, uh, Zabu Silver Surfer meta, but I I kind of preferred Zabu Silver Surfer. I mean, obviously, I think if you're playing as a free-to-play player, this is a better this is a better meta. For someone who's coming up who doesn't have all the cards, this is a better meta. I think if you're looking at someone who's pulled free complete, in my opinion at least, I think this is this is a worse meta, I do. And I, I, I like wholeheartedly believe that. Um, which I, I don't think is a popular opinion. I think a lot of people really, really didn't like it. Um, and I, I know, obviously, you could be like, ah, oh, well, you've got, you know, your, your pull free complete, your opinion sort of doesn't matter. And in that respect, like, yeah, fair enough, I guess. I guess it doesn't. Um, 
You know, I'm gonna white queen just to get some information. We kind of need to play a few cards here, otherwise he's just gonna run away with it. You know what? He left the gap, and I really didn't think he was going to. And I really wanted to goblin him, but I thought, no, 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 it's a burst. Okay, Dino's interesting. So he's going to play a Dino mid right, so I think we can just hopefully just lock him out, and then maybe we just do this and just move. This this goes wrong if he doesn't play a Dino mid, but I think he's he will right. Dino players just love playing Dinos; it's in their blood. Yeah, I think at the moment, like I find this meta worse. I I did I did have Zabu, I did have Silver Surfer, I, I, you know, like I'm not gonna pretend I didn't. I'm not gonna pretend that doesn't make my experience of the game different. Um, but I just think like I don't know. I just feel like it wasn't as healthy in my opinion. Okay, let's just move Space Stone across. So here's the thing, right? We can play our own Devil Dino now. And then do we just play a soul stone left? Do we play a soul stone mid? Surely we just play a soul stone mid. Or we could just hold the soul stone back. There's no need to play the soul stone right. If he wastes his last card playing leech. Ooh, okay. Unfortunately, that's gonna screw over my right lane. It's a weird snap though, because I'm gonna win. Because I, I can play this and this. And I win. Okay. Unless I'm silly. Maybe he shang chis me. I mean, he's got first reveal. I've got first reveal, so he could Shang-Chi me. That's Shang-Chi, fair play. But then does Shang-Chi beat... Honestly, man, sometimes I don't get people playing this game. He had, like, another dino as well. I mean, fair enough, but, like, yeah. But then again, I guess that's the thing, when you're like, yeah, I, I really don't get why you're spam emoting, like, you just threw the game. If he played a dino, he's still in a one, but like, yeah, you know, strange guy, man, strange guy. <laughs> that's how you climb, ladies and gentlemen. We started on 101, eight cubes, now on 102, and it's through modest retreating and knowing when you're beat. <laughs> Um, but yeah, and I think I think for me personally, I do genuinely think the meta at the moment is just just better. Uh, no, worse. Sorry, at least at least at the pool collection and stuff I'm playing. Um, is that a take a lot of people disagree with? Probably, yeah. But then I think because of Marvel Snap's like bespoke collection and the way the, the acquisition of cards work, it's very hard for anyone to comment on anyone else's play experience because it's so different. I think I unlocked um, Magneto around like 1500 for example and I used him so much and I really really enjoyed him and I just couldn't imagine not not playing with Magneto and when when they released pool 4 and pool 5 um, they obviously gave you like a certain amount of collectors tokens um, to everyone who had like been playing for a while such so had certain collectors levels uh, you know, I absolutely hate Dream Dimension. I'm sure he does too, so I'm going to do him a favour and get rid of it. Um, and I bought Thanos because I just thought Thanos was the coolest of the original Series 5 cards. Um, I stand by that. I do. I think Thanos is a dope card. I'm glad my guys, my big my big purple dude's getting some love now. Um, but the, the thing is, I didn't have Quinjet. Quinjet is literally the last card I unlocked from Pool 3. <laughs> Which is, you know, like Sod's Law, right? But um, it's just really, really funny because I had Thanos and for literally like probably like a month and a half or so, I think it was before I finished pool three after getting Thanos, I just would keep trying to make him work. And I was like, oh, I really want him to be good, but he's just, he's just not. And then I got Quinjet and I was like, ah, oh, sick. I can actually, you know, play the deck I want to play now. Um, and I think that's like the reason why in my opinion it's very hard to say like oh the meta the meta this the meta that because if you are missing like arrow for example i got arrow like arrow was like my first or second pool three card at the time i thought it was the end of pool two and then i just didn't realize until sort of like a month or so later that arrow was pool three and i just 
had one of the most insane pulls ever, you know. And like that that my experience because I had error at the start of pool three, it's completely different. And as a result, my perspective on the meta, if I could if I had aero and I didn't have aero, my perspective is completely different. And I think that's why like when you look at things like the um the leader and the leech situation, it's like that's why people are crying crying, not as in like crying wah wah, like crying as in crying out for nerfs. Um is because Oh man, bloody fucking Urgh. Okay, we'll do this, and then that way then we can play Power Stone next turn, because we're probably going to pull Thanos here. We've only got five cards left in the deck. Decent chances. Leech. Rough. Don't get something huge. Doom. Oh, okay, well, we can't play a card next turn now. So, we can just figure out whether or not we win. Thank you, Goblin. Goblin in Cerebro decks, though, right? It's so good. Um, and I think that's why it's sort of hard to discuss, like, the meta sometimes, because the people who are like, oh, well, I've got, I've got, like, Aero isn't a problem. Like, right now, let's take Aero, right? Aero is 5-7. Um, Aero is probably a problem, just because she's too, too efficient, right? She's too good. Um, sorry, dude, you're going to retreat anyway, so I may as well snap. Just chuck Thanos mid, because why not? Um, yeah, Aero is probably a bit overtuned, but do I think they should nerf her into the ground and make her like a 5 3 or something? No. Like, I saw an interesting one a while ago that said, like, Magneto should have Aero's stats, in the, like, Magneto should be like a 5 6, and Aero should be like a 6 12. Um, I actually think that's worse for a start, for a multitude of reasons. But, like, the argument with Aero is, it's like you read comment sections talking about it, and it'll be like, Oh, Arrow's not that bad, you just need to get good. And someone will be like, well, do you have Arrow? And they'll be like, yes, I've got Arrow. And it's like, there you go. And the experience of someone who doesn't have the card, hasn't had the opportunity to play with the card, figure it out, feel it out, is completely different. Like, I, when I used to play Hearthstone a lot, um, I had, like, so many of the old expansions. Um, when my friends played me, they would either have just the most recent expansion, or they would be playing, like, with a gap in, like, card sets. Um, which is absolutely fine, obviously. Um, I'm just going to go for this and snap. And if this misses, we retreat. If this doesn't miss, we win. Um, you got to be ballsy. <laughs> uh, and the experience of like not knowing how to play a card slash what happens when you play a card really matters. Because they used to play Thief Priest. And if you haven't played Hearthstone, it lets you take like your opponent's cards. It's got like a lot of card generation. Um, and they'd steal my cards, but then not understand how they work. And obviously that in of itself caused problems. This is interesting. We've drawn all of our like Cerebro cards. But none of the stones. Um, so I'm not really sure what I want to play here. I'm actually thinking we might just play Rock Slide. Just to try and mess up his uh, Lockjaw a bit. We might also be abandoning Right is what I'm thinking. He did have priority reveal, so that was never a great thing. But obviously it fucks his draws as well. So he's played a two or one cost card left. Oh, him losing Shang-Chi is really, really good though. So I guess we could go for the Hell, or we could just do Hell Cow Hella. And then just hope that he doesn't outpace us. There's no way that he expects Hell Cow Hella here, right? Have we even played a single? We haven't played a single Infinity Stone this game. We haven't even drawn Thanos. What are the odds of that? Um, but yeah, and I think like when the conversation comes to balancing Marvel Snap, surely it's done around uh, how quickly you acquire cards, and the card acquisition is what's actually whack. I think in severe cases, stuff does need to be modified. So I think in the case of Shuri and some of the Thanos deck, yes, some changes do need to be made. But I don't think it's correct that um, every single time a card sort of like does well that the solution is oh let's nerf or buff, buff it I think buffs to cards that suck are better um, I think that's a more healthy way of doing it I think you can see really positive results with Wolverine for example um, I think that's a that's a really good change are we going to win this? we could win this it depends what comes out left so I think what needs to happen is we need to hit, uh, this needs to not be anything huge. Ooh, okay. 
Come on, hell cow, and then summon it. Oh, wait, wait, he played all the stones. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, I changed my mind. Thanos too strong. Nerf. Thank you, Captain Marvel. Is there anything you can't do? Um, yeah, and I think, like, maybe card acquisition's something that could improve the feeling of, like, oh, things need to be nerfed. Or potentially. Oh, I think it's fist bumping. I was already clicking. Um, or also, I think the way that locations work could help a lot as well because like if you want to make sure it works just put like adjust the locations in rotation um i don't like the idea of just nerfing cards constantly especially when the token shop exists okay last deck this one's probably the best so i decided to buy bast because i got bored i also really want valkyrie this deck's gonna have valkyrie in as well when it's done um bast obviously sets everything to free uh we, we're sort of running with a theme here so um Thanos is in here again. Bass makes your stones are free, and your Lockjaw, and your Cerebro, and your Quinjet, so they can all benefit from your Cerebro. And then we've just got a bunch of free power cards, because you know what it turns out? A lot of like free power cards are actually pretty good, um, if we scroll down here. So, you know, we've got obviously like armor's really good. Uh, Blue Marvel and Captain America are good, but obviously when they buff stuff, it messes with your Cerebro. Cosmo's great. Uh, Debris probably could work in here, maybe, but I don't think you want to flood your board too much. Uh, you know, there's, there's a lot of good options. Domino, Juggernaut, Rhino. So I think like you could take this and adjust it a bit and put in more tech cards if you want. Um, you know, but it is very much a techie version of the deck. So the ones I went with, uh, we'll start with like the obvious ones. Cosmo is really, really good. And at the moment, like if people are playing Shuri, you just you just want Cosmo. Same thing for Shang-Chi. It's just really, really good. I put in Moon Knight. Oh, that's not Moon Knight. I put in Moon Knight because I thought Moon Knight, since he's been buffed up to free attack, um, it just, just why not? Uh, the idea as well is obviously if Moon Knight could just make them discard something really really important which would like Shuri is like Taskmaster, Shuri etc so why not? Uh, Killmonger's good against Thanos I thought you know and also I've managed to ink fight this Killmonger to an insane level. Leech uh, yeah I'm a scumbag I don't care if we're playing like a Lockjaw stone deck we kind of need Leech. Professor X kind of like a bit of a weird one really really like Professor X but obviously if you hit him off of Lockjaw at the wrong time he fucks you which has happened plenty of times when I've been playtesting this and lastly, the man himself, Baron Mordo. Not a good card. I just thought, why not? It's a bit of a meme. Let's do it. Um, this deck doesn't have a name. So it is, of course, my iconic deck 20. Okay. Bast is kind of, like, good for Thanos as well. Because, like... Sometimes with these Cerebro decks, you just don't have a late turn play. Um, and obviously, if you play, uh, if you play Thanos in six, it just screws up your uh, what's it called, uh, Cerebro. So I know it seems really bad, but we're gonna make Thanos a free here. Uh, yeah, they want the cards. This is Shuri for sure, is as well. God, I can't wait to play against the Shuri deck. But we've got Leech, we've got uh, Shang-Chi, so we should be okay. Sure. God, what a surprise. I actually think that we probably win this, though, is the funny thing. Because as long as we're... Oh, if they skip this turn. No, because if we Leech their hand, we're in a good spot. Play Time Stone as well, because why not? I'm not going to snap though, just in case it's the version with She-Hulk and they skip. Yep. Although I'm pretty sure this takes the She-Hulk back up to max cost, so they can't even play it anymore now. See, now the problem we've got is we need to start Thanos, so we don't have a big card to play anymore. We probably just lose here, but I don't really want to surrender now. Yeah, it's really stubborn, but I just just because I got the leech off, like if you can't taskmaster, you can only play one card. It kind of like doesn't really leave him with many options. And I mean, if he's playing like zero, for example, or he's playing a one drop. The soul stone might be really good because he can't. Yeah, yeah. Screw you, screw you and your shuri. 
See, it feels bad playing Leech, but I feel like the thing about Leech is when everyone's playing Shiri, it's just like... I'd rather be playing Leech than Shiri, do you know what I mean? I'd rather be the, uh... Killing the Metson and building the meta. <laughs> I genuinely believe this is the best one of the three decks I've shown you guys today as well. I, I think that six attack one could work, but it just needs a tiny bit more support. A few more good six attack cards, um, and like, you know, and then and then you've got a good deck because, you know, your hello will just resurrect a lot of good stuff. Okay. Killmonger. This is why I like having Killmonger in here, right? You're seeing a lot of Thanos as well. Interesting snap con. Let's see if it pays off. This is the beauty of it as well, is like a lot of them will snap because they think you're obviously just playing the same deck as them. So it's like, oh I've got I've got the you know, I've got a good start here, like this'll be fine. I've played something into Sanctum, you know, like, it's going to be absolutely fine. If he plays Cosmo here, I'm going to, like, face palm because I've just screwed myself. But, unless it's Cosmo, we're in a really good spot. I just feel like a lot of Thanos decks don't run Cosmo because it's very de-synergistic. Yeah, that's fine. Draw your stones. See what happens, mate. Uh, right. Ideally, we actually want this Quinjet out so we can play stones over here. So I'm going to play Quinjet first in the hope that when... Killmonger comes down, he pulls it back out. See ya. There's Cerebro. There he is, my perfect boy. Oof, there goes the stones. Rough. Okay, Bass paying off. If only I had somewhere to put these stones. If I leech him, what am I playing next turn? That's, that is the debate I'm having at the moment. I kind of want to try and play something into... I think I just have to leech. It really sucks, because I would love to be able to get... I just can't play anything into the other lane. So if I leech here, then hopefully this just rolls into Space Stone. Moon Knight, okay. Yeah, that's actually fine. So the good thing about this is I can just play Professor X now because of Cerebro or Buffer up to a 5. I think we still lose. Yeah, if he has Thanos we lose because it's just going to be 11 so the gap's going to be 3 versus 2. But no Thanos, probably a win. He discarded Arrow which is like a lot of stats. He hadn't drawn too many cards, he'd only played like 3 stones. Rough locations, though. Also, guys, if you're watching this as, like, trying to, like, learn something, never, ever stick this one out as a snap. We, 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 like, have too much knowledge to know that, like, he probably, if he had Thanos, we were dead. Crazy he stuck it out. Because if I had played Thanos, he would have lost. I don't know, it's a calculated risk, right? Like, if he wanted to stick that out, he still had five cards in deck, so there's every good chance he had Thanos. Um, in his deck, but yeah, I guess it just comes down to what kind of player you are. If I was trying to climb, I probably wouldn't have stuck that one out. He knows my tricks now, though. Bastard. When you play a card here, set it to two power. Yeah, we don't need that. We'll get rid of that one. Mindscape. Okay. Oof, super flow. Now there's a location. There's, there's a location with a bit of spice. Dude, you snapped last time. It didn't work out for you very well. Maybe he hasn't read and realized that I'm the same guy who has uh, the Killmonger. Either that or else he's just drawn his Green Goblin. He's going to play his Green Goblin mid and be very happy about it. This seems like a very arbitrary snap. Okay. Cool. Well, there, there's, the, there's the Killmonger. So... That's a good, that's a good card. Clintar. 
Okay, so basically, uh, I, maybe I should have snapped, because I'm going to take a bit of a risk here. But, uh, with, with Clintar, when it merges everything together, it turns it into a one drop. So, as long as I don't, don't discard the Killmonger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, this is, this is going to be painful, guys. All of his minions are going to merge together, and then we're just going to blow him up with the Killmonger. This is so rough, man. I'm gonna play a Cosmo mid, mid. He's got re he's got reveal, but there's no way he's playing. He's not gonna play mid. We don't really need the extra energy from Superfly anymore. Next time we're just playing Cosmo. I guess if we draw Cerebro, it'll be a bit sad. But if we're giving him Cerebro and Shang Chi through Mindscape, it's not the end. He might get rid of Mindscape. If he gets rid of Mindscape, yeah, it's a bit sad. But like. Otherwise, it's fine. Okay, yep. Yeah. Cool, fine. No cards are revealed this turn. Okay. I'm about to ruin this whole man's career. This poor guy, man. I love Killmonger. You can probably guess that from the amount that I've split my guy. Oh, we actually got a card we could play as well. Okay, Wicked. Uh, like I said last time, I don't think my guy's going to be running Cosmo, playing, uh, what's it called, uh, Thanos deck, so I feel pretty comfortable doing this. That might be... Oh, Leech. Okay, cool. Oof. Bye-bye. I swear to Symbiote's a one cost! What was it for? When did they change that? Madness. Madness. I'm actually mad on the internet, guys. I can't believe I just did that. I've just humiliated myself in front of all of you. I swear that used to be a one. I'm checking the patch notes after this game, guys. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, he's got America Chavez in his deck, hasn't he, as well? Okay, let's play around America Chavez. So, if he plays Chavez mid, we lose. We're back it out. I'm not losing eight. Can you deliver that? A sad moment. If I'd realised it was a 4, I would have played Shang-Chi first. Oh no, I humiliated myself or did that again. Right, we're going to do a few more, but before we do... Uh, I'm sorry, I've got to go to the Marvel Snap website, because I thought you could see the patch notes on the app, but apparently, apparently not on the PC version, so bear with me while I get the patch notes up. Patch notes, February 21st. I can't believe that. Hard updates, location updates, the car. Am I am I crazy? Clintar, Marvel Snap, Wiki. Am I insane, guys? Has has Clintar always made it into a four? No, they definitely changed it at some point. Clintar is a location in Marvel Snap that triggers a symbiote on turn four. Uh, oh wait, that, 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 yeah, wait, wait. All cards at this location will merge, not destroy into one same bit on turn four, which is a four cost card. God damn it. I should have read the patch notes, okay? Not, not a gamer moment, am I right? Like, oh my goodness. <laughs> Wicked. Quinge out on one. Li living the dream. We're gonna start aggressively snapping now. We're at infinite, so we just like cube cube control is less of an issue. Now it's just more about trying to beat people with these uh, hilarious decks. Uh, Mojo World, we don't actually mind. The chances of him playing around, being able to play around Mojo World as a Shuri deck are pretty low too. Sinister London is a big problem, but that's fine. Oh, maybe it's not Shuri. Okay, cool. So, we're going to just Cosmo just now, before Bashanagans, before, uh... Are we going to Cosmo now, or are we going to wait one turn? The only problem with not Cosmoing now is what if we don't have priority next turn. If we lose priority and it is Shiri, then that sucks. So we're just going to Cosmo. We may as well hold Bass back, we're not even that fussed about. Um... Man, what a jar. Like, the perfect locations for... Anti Shuri, and it's not even Shuri, man. Guys, it's double sinister London as well. 
I don't really want to neuter the Sanos here though, because the 11 power is probably going to be pretty useful. Although, to be fair, it does look like we're just Professor Xing next turn, and just hoping that we just hit locations that we need. The old Professor X Hail Mary, guys. It, it's got to be done, you know. <laughs> probably Professor X right rather than left, just because he's got a sunspot in left, so the scaling's kind of like jarring. If that's a Shuri, I'm going to lose my sh bloody rag, honestly. Okay, Moon Girl. Every time I see Moon Girl, it just makes me want to play Sama. Alright, we're going to risk it. We're going to risk it big time. If we get this wrong, slash this goes wrong, then fair play. Oh my god, he didn't play a card. Oh, I'm a colossal brain gamer. I mean... The problem we've got here is, obviously, he can still win. He would If he plays, uh, what's it called, Dino, and then the Dino, yeah, if he plays Dino and Floats, then he's got it. So how do we beat Dino and Float? I don't think we do. Excuse me, I just I just fired really loud there, I don't know if the mic picked up. We could kill Monger, and kill Monger removes Quinjet, but then the problem is that also kills these. I don't actually think we have any cards in our deck that can help us in this situation. I think it's really sad the X fell left, because if the X had gone mid, we would have won. It's a shame, guys. It's a shame. Escape. No worries, though. There's always another day for Cerebro free. <laughs> and we're still a higher rank than when we started, so, you know, that's that's the important thing, right? This is a educational stream. Follow these tips, you will reach infinite 102. Disclaimer, you may already need to be infinite 101 for this to uh, have maximum effect. Okay, cool. Uh, we'll just chuck a stone out. Every time I see people talk, talk about what's the uh, best one drop in the game, there's always like argument that it's not Sunspot. But tell me you see a one drop more than Sunspot. And yes, I know there's obviously other one drops that are like good, but like Sunspot is so prominent. So I'm snapping here because he's not playing cards. So if I blow something up with Moon Knight, it will just be amazing. Um, I'm not too fussed about discarding either of these. If Professor X stays in hand, it'll probably be Professor X into Machine World next turn. Yep, She Hulk. Gee, what a surprise! Beautiful. There he is, Baron Mordo. Enjoy your six cost cards. It's like we'll never know, but imagine if that's Shuri and we've just hit his Shuri, guys. We've just done it. We've just nailed him. Um, you know, actually, we're going to do it this way just so that we can move something from here if we want to. I forgot about Dream Dimension because I'm an inbred, so I didn't realize Professor X would be discounted. Soul Stone, not terrible. Okay. Ah, oh, still got the Shuri. So, he can't realistically write. We know he's discarded his Red Skull. So if we play... He's not playing... He's not playing like... Um, you know what I mean? He's not playing... Uh, can I just move this across? He, there's no way he's playing... Like, I don't see it. Maybe he plays Arrow, but I swear he would play Arrow here. So I just think this just beats Arrow, right? That kills his Sunspot. Kills my stones, but fine. Cool. This could be Doctor Doom, but I, you know, I, yeah, it just doesn't, Doctor Doom just doesn't do it. Yeah, I love Killmonger too, dude. I bet that's that's Arrow, surely. Show me Arrow. Yep. You know what? If he had something crazy in his deck. Like, unpredictable, I don't know. I don't know what could have won in that situation. But imagine if he wasn't just playing Aero, guys. I would have never seen that coming. It's almost as if everyone playing the exact same top cards isn't good for the game. <laughs> okay, we're going to try and get to... What we're going to do is we're either going to get to 103 or back down to 102 and then we're going to call it a day. But please let me know if you've enjoyed this one because I wanted to do something different. And, like, I always... Like, my, my video... Of getting to infinite 
has got the most views um, and most likes and stuff that I've had on a video so far. So thank you for that, guys. But I, you know, I, I want to make content that people enjoy. I'd love to be able to spend more time and put more effort into it. Like at the moment, my thumbnails are just screenshots and that kind of thing. And like, um, you know, it was really nice to have that support and I really do appreciate it. Obviously it's not much like, well, okay. Not like that. Like what I mean is like in the grand scheme of things, you know, it wasn't like enough enough views and support that i'm like oh maybe maybe i should quit my job but it was it was nice to actually hit triple figures for one like last time i looked it was on over 500 views which means a lot to me like it's actually really cool people checking stuff out um because i love this game and i really enjoy making content um even if i am a very newbie content creator basic i'm gonna do us both favor and get rid of dream dimension um so if you are enjoying this if you've made it this far and you know you have any tips or there's something you want to see please 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 do, do leave a comment. There he is, Baron Mordo. Enjoy your six cost infinity stone. Or is he Dino? He's Dino. Get that Baron Mordo value, eh? Um, cool, yeah. I mean, we're just going to do this and then start fresh with the lock jaw in uh, left. I don't really want to lock myself mid, so I'm not going to play that soul stone out. Plus, we'll get a bass buff, obviously. Moon Knight. Well, there goes my Cerebro. The oh, Leech. Nice. Wicked. Cool. Mm, I'm gonna snap. So I'm snapping here because I can Shang Chi as Gamora quite easily, and then we're also gonna get like another turn of just craziness from uh, these these stones going down. So arrow, yeah, that's fine, mate. Honestly, you enjoy you arrow. Um, but yeah, please let us know what you want to see and what you're enjoying, guys, because it's it's really enjoyable doing this, and I would love to have some more interaction and you know help people. Like if, if you if you've used any of the decks that I've like played or shown and they've helped you, please let me know because it would be really nice to uh, you know know that we're we're helping. Okay. I don't even know if we win this at this point, to be honest. He might just steamroll us, because we just don't have that much power. Okay. Fine. I don't think he was expecting Shang-Chi for some reason. This could be something crazy over there still, though. Oh, there's the Mensis one. And I'd drawn my whole deck already, even without the Mensis one. Rough. This could be a good deck, guys. This could be a good deck. I think Baron Mordo obviously is not a good card, um, but I, I I might make another video on this one. I might I might keep playing it, and tweaking it. Let's do let's do one more. We're we're gonna call this the last one for the video because because I think uh, I think we hit our creative limit of what we can say about this uh, limited deck at the moment. I've said it before and I'll say it again though, I just think Thanos is really neat. He just opens up so many different play styles, um, it just changes the game. Whoa, Spider-Man, what are we playing? Okay, I haven't seen Spider-Man since they nerfed Zabu. Okay, so this is Galactus. He's gonna see my deck and be like, what is wrong with this guy? <laughs> okay, so if we're playing around Galactus, we'll just play Cosmo right. Quinjet. Is that my Quinjet? I think that's my Quinjet. I have no idea. Sure. Do they? No, they don't knock each other out. That's a shame. Uh, I think I'd rather have the Shang-Chi, right? I think I'd rather have the Shang-Chi and just Polaris. Okay. I'm thinking about, so to fill you guys in on what I'm thinking, originally I was thinking I'll just Professor X, but if I Professor, I guess I could just Professor X left, 
Um, it's a bit risky, though. I was thinking about just Professor Xing right. He's got six cards in hand, but, like, the majority of them are mine. But then, obviously, if he plays anything that's bigger than the X, we don't really have a way of buffing or supporting this lane. So that's not really the play I want to go with. Um, I thought about arrowing left, but if he just, like, puts down... I mean, I know he can't put down Galactus, but, you know, it's tricky. And then if I leech and he's got nothing, it's just a bit redundant. I guess I could leech... I could leech here and then just arrow next turn and pull over whatever it is and then hope the Cosmo is big enough to beat Quinjet. I think that's the play. I think we're looking at leech arrow to be on. Oh, oh no, what? He played into the Cosmo lane. Wow. Okay. I think we just slam the Thanos right, but did we just slam the Thanos right, or do we slam the Thanos mid? Fifty-fifty, guys. Fifty-fifty at the end of the video. We're gonna snap for it. Or you could just play left and screw us. I think we go right. I think he plays left. Oh, he just went for the big boy play. Oops, screw him over. That doesn't screw him over. Ah. Oh, damn. We really thought about it as well. Oh, well, it's been a fun video, guys. So as you can see, this deck could have some... Uh, I think I think this free one could be competitive. I think... Um, I think, let's have a quick look before we go. I think we could make this better. I think you could, let's get the deck up so it doesn't show every variant in the world. I think there's a lot of room for improvement on it. I think if you have Shadow King, for example, that could be a good fit, perhaps. Rhino, Sentinel could be good, I guess. Scarlet Witch could be good. I mean, Valkyrie would be really helpful when we get Valkyrie. Um, maybe Valkyrie's better than Bast, I don't know. I just got a bit antsy. I bought Bast from the token shop. Do I have regrets? Probably. Uh, either way, we're going to rename this the uh, Cerebro Sunday deck, and we're going to try again with it next week. What, what card back should we use? Let's do the weird sensor one. <laughs> cool. Well, if you've made it this far and you've enjoyed it, please leave a comment, like, subscribe. Um, I'd love to hear any feedback or any sessions you guys would like to hear. Um, again, if you want stuff that's a bit more serious, cool, let me know. If you'd like videos that are based around individual cards, that's fine. I'm here for all my Hawkeye bros, so if anyone wants to see this Hawkeye, mainly because of this dope variant, uh, please do let me know and I'll, uh, I'll see what I can do. Otherwise, I will catch you guys in the next one. It's been a blast as always. Thank you.